Okay, today we're gonna make the easy grilled chicken. Very uh, moist, you'll never, you'll, you'll never go back to the way you grill chicken again if you do it this way. I have little hands here today and we're gonna do, we washed our hands. We're gonna place the chicken on some plastic wrap and we're gonna cover it. Okay, we'll cover the chicken this way. The reason why we're covering the chicken is because we got some thicker parts right here. So Little Hands is gonna help pound this out. He has a special technique. All right, Little Hands, let's try to even this out. All right, let's take a look at it. Are we getting there? We went about an inch all around. So a couple more wax there, we're gonna spread that out. What we're gonna do is trying to get even cooking. So that's how you get like a moist chicken. You don't do this, you're not getting your chicken like tough on one side and moist on the other side. You want the whole chicken to be nice and moist. So give it about four more pounds there at the thick end. It's heavy, isn't it? Good workout. All right, that's beautiful. That's about right where we want it. We want it about a half inch to an inch all the way around. So we're gonna set that aside and we're gonna start a brine. This is how we're gonna, uh, make this chicken tender. So right now we're gonna get a bowl and we're gonna grab uh, some uh, three cups of water about. And we're gonna pour it in a bowl. We got two there and one more cup. And what this is gonna do is season it from like the inside. And what we're gonna do is add a tablespoon of salt. And we're gonna mix that around really good. It's gonna take a while because this is cold water. It's cold, cold filter water. And we wanna mix all that salt in there. So we're gonna stir that around good. Get all that in there, mix it well. Again, All right, around. since I got clean hands again, we're gonna put the chicken in. Yeah, the water is getting cloudy. The salt's working in there. It's evenly distributed. And we're gonna place the chicken in the brine water. It's only a tablespoon of salt water. You're not gonna drink all it or use all this water in here. So we're gonna place this in here. We're gonna cover it and leave it in the refrigerator for at least a while, an hour. Or you can leave it overnight and have the chicken the next day. So, we'll be back with the grilling. Okay, we took our chicken out of the brine, as you could see, I dried it off with a paper towel. And now we're gonna coat this, get it ready for grilling. One of the secret recipes we're gonna use, instead of oil or olive oil, we're gonna use a mayonnaise mixture. It's two tablespoons of mayonnaise, a quarter teaspoon of pepper, a quarter teaspoon of sea salt, a dash of onion, and a dash of garlic. So Little Hands here is gonna dip the brush in and we're gonna paint this chicken up. You know, it's gonna give it a nice browning for uh, grilling. What's in mayonnaise? Oil and egg whipped up. So we're gonna put a nice coat on there on both sides, flip that brush, there you go. Looking good, looking good. All right, get the other piece. Put it on there nice. I'll flip it over for you. Got a nice coating. Let me get that tip over there of the chicken. Generous with it. I'll flip these around and you can coat the other side. A nice thick cloth. Hold the hold the cup. Get a good cloth. Paint it up. Put a little bit on the other piece.
Okay then, we'll get our grill uh, ready to go and we'll throw them on. Okay, we got our grill really hot, so now we're gonna add our chicken. And we're gonna let this cook for about five to six minutes, then we're gonna flip it. Okay, it's been growing for about five minutes, so we're gonna flip it around. Look at that browning on that, beautiful. Okay, we'll let this go for another four to five minutes and we'll check the temperature in it. Okay, these are done. I checked them with a meat thermometer. I'm looking for a temperature between 155 to 165. I'm pulling them off at 160. I think anything above that ain't that great. So there you go. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes. We're gonna slice open the chicken. I'm telling you, this is the best, juiciest chicken ever. You gotta try it. Nice, beautiful. So try this chicken. Let me know how, if you want restaurant style chicken, try this chicken.